Hello, this is Jeff Malone, The X is Silent, here with a review of the February 18th, 2012 episode of Saturday Night Live with host Maya Rudolph and musical guest Slay Bells. The opening sketch was uh, New York Sports Now, a uh, sports show, sports talk show, and the topic at hand was Jeremy Lin, the uh, sensation on the New York Knicks. Now, I uh, had uh, generally enjoyed this sketch. Um, I gave it a B-. minus. Which is kind of funny because um, it seems like that's been my go-to grade for the uh, political cold opens. Like anytime Mitt Romney is talking, that seems to be what I most commonly give those sketches. But um, I definitely enjoyed this New York Sports Now sketch more than I did the Mitt Romney sketches. So I may have been too generous with those B minuses I've been giving Romney. Uh, it's a little insane that uh, this sketch and those Romney sketches are getting the same grade, but uh, what do you do? Anyway, uh, Maya Rudolph's monologue, uh, she sang a song about uh, Do You Wanna Funk With Me, and uh, you know, the song had a good beat, and, uh, <laughs> the and the topic was whatever, if that's what you want to do, uh, B-. minus. And then we had Bronx Beat. Amy Poehler stopped by. And I usually like Bronx Beat, but I think this might have been the worst one they've ever done. It just felt lazy. Justin Timberlake's cameo felt kind of pointless. Yeah. C+. Plus. Uh, and then we had Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Laughs, which featured one of the best exchanges of dialogue in recent memory. Sister Maya, was this an act of malice? No, Brother Cornell, it was an act of whimsy. I originally gave this uh, sketch a B, but I'm feeling maybe I should upgrade that to a B plus, maybe even an A minus. Uh, let's see. Then we had um, uh, Baby Blue Ivy, Jay Z and Beyonce's baby girl, and some. Celebrity fans coming to visit and say hi. Uh, Justin Timberlake's um, impression of Justin Vernon, and not Boney Bear, but Justin Vernon of Boney Bear, was uh, was was uh, right on. But uh, the best part of this sketch had to have been Al Prince. Uh, this kind of felt like a print show sketch, and that's certainly a welcome feeling. B plus. Uh, Sleigh Bells, uh, their first performance of the night was Come Back Kid, their latest single. And uh, SNL's stage, you know, in the, la the music stage in the last five plus years has had a terrible reputation with its acoustics or sound mixing or whatever, and Sleigh Bells sounded like they were the biggest victim of it um, ever. Um, but also, let's keep in mind, Sleigh Bell's uh, singer, Alexis Cross, she does sing kind of softly, um, so, and it didn't sound that different than how she normally sounds, but it didn't sound as good as, as, it, as it can, so... But uh, the song was good enough to, for me to uh, give that performance a B. And then Weekend Update. Oh, thank God, Amy stopped by. Uh... Seth was uh, so much better when she was with him. And tonight, this episode did nothing to disprove that. Um, the best uh, joke was the one about uh, Worst in Show, as always, going to Ralph. Um, but I also enjoyed the fact that uh, the um, punchline about, you know it's true because it was reported by Shakira's hips. Uh, so for the uh, the joke portion, I gave it a B plus. And then uh, they also did a round of really uh, regarding the um, Congress uh, and healthcare and um, contraception business. Uh, yeah, the transvaginal bit was uh, very Clearly the best part of that one, so uh, that gets a B. Okay, then we had, <laughs> what up with that? Um, Kate Upton was the uh, most gregarious uh, middle chair guest that what up with that has ever had. Uh, B. Uh, and then we had the Super Showcase sketch, which uh, 
is worth noting for Bill, Maya, and Christian cracking up for no apparent reason. Um, I was also struck by how Vanessa Bayer seemed uh, had no trouble keeping her cool and uh, almost looked a little angry that the uh, more veteran performers around her were completely losing it. Uh, B minus. Then oh the Ob uh, the Obama show. Uh, is the, you know, the Cosby show, but starring the Obamas. Um, this sketch wasn't, uh, terrific from beginning to end, but that homage to the Cosby show opening credits was transcendent. B+. Plus. Uh, Slay Bell's second performance of the night was, um, end of the line. You know, I can, a you know, song that I can enjoy, you know, whatever, here and there. But I think I would have enjoyed a bigger song um, as their selection for their second performance. Uh, so B minus. And then we wrap things up for the night with the uh, attended one sketch. How's he doing? And he being Barack Obama. How's he doing with the African American community? And this was, you know, a very it, this was a predictable sketch. But, uh, reliably funny, uh, is a better way to put it. And, uh, it was cleverly so. Um, and it did feature, uh, the, a, um, unusual line. You know, maybe the African Americans are just, uh, upset because it's winter. So that, that, that was a unique, uh, line to throw into a sketch like that. So, uh, B+. Plus. Uh, overall, um... I liked a lot of uh, this episode, but I wasn't in love with any of it, uh, except for that uh, Cosby show. Uh, the just well, the Obama show, excuse me. The opening credits part that was terrific. Then let's see in uh, March third. Our next new show will be featuring host Lindsay Lohan for a fourth time. First time since 06. And musical guest Jack White. And if there's anyone who can figure out the SNL acoust the acoustics of the SNL music stage, it's Jack White. Uh, check out the documentary. It might get loud. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about with regards to that comment. Uh, so we might just go to, from the musical guest that had the most trouble with the acoustics of the SNL stage to the musical guest who had, who did the best job of figuring it out. And, uh, Lindsay, uh, her career is, uh, you know, well, <laughs> right, but, um, she was, a uh, pretty enjoyable, um, host the, uh, First time she was on in 04, she seemed a little, uh, you know, she was getting into her partying days when she hosted again in 05 and 06, so those weren't as memorable, but I think she's pretty much sober at the moment, so I think she could do something. Uh, anyway, we'll see. In the meantime, uh, check out the blog and... Uh, and